Let's observe this situation. Many of us don't understand why the dog behaves like this. Or this owner finds himself in this situation because he has a dangerous dog. This is completely wrong. If I told you that the pit bull behaves normally and this bad situation is due to errors made by the owner. At this stage we are close to the accident. And most owners abandon their dog or in the event of a serious accident, the dog is euthanized. In this video, you will understand why the pit bull behaves like this, and do's and don'ts to never find yourself in this situation. In order to understand why the pit bull behaves like this, we will study three points. First point, the hierarchy. The dog is the cousin of the wolf. Before being domesticated by man, and even now, in the wild it lives in packs like wolves. In group life, there are very strict rules, including the hierarchy. In this hierarchy, there are several ranks and the highest rank is that of the alpha. All the members who have a rank below the alpha, see the alpha as the strongest and submit to him. They give him priority over everything and obedience to whatever the Alpha asks. For example, the Alpha eats first, he eats the noblest meats, he rests in the best places in the burrow. I am telling you this because it's rooted in the dog's instinct. Here is an example of a hierarchy in a dog pack. In this pack, we see two bulldogs, an adult lichen shepherd and two young dogs. We observe that the two bulldogs have a fairly high place in the hierarchy. They actively and passively submit the two young dogs. In all packs, the youngest dogs always have the lowest place in the hierarchy. We observe that whenever the bulldogs assert their dominance, the lichen shepherd intervenes in each submission to affirm to the bulldogs, that he is always above them. Here we have a really very interesting point, watch during the intervention of the lichen shepherd, the bulldog will try to take a dominant position on the lichen shepherd by gaining height. The lichen will react directly to defend his position and assert his dominance. After being reprimanded, the bulldog adopts active submission. We observe it with lowered ears, flexed paws and tail between the legs. We might think the lichen shepherd is the alpha of the pack. But that's not true, the alpha of this pack is the owner of these dogs. We will see it here. Watch precisely what happens when the owner whistles. All the dogs interrupt what they were doing and come back to him. However, the lichen shepherd turns to dominate a bulldog. The owner calls him by name. Gross. The lichen stops and sits down in front of his owner. When the owner touches him, the dogs show his teeth. Some dogs show their front teeth in submission. This is referred to as a submissive grin or a smile. The submissive grin is a type of appeasement gesture intended to calm down a situation. That's what the lichen shepherd is doing here. These videos show us that there is indeed a hierarchy in the social life of dogs. If you own a dog, your dog will see you as the alpha. And you absolutely must take on this role. If you have a family, you have the responsibility that all the members of your family are hierarchically above your dog. Already many people ignore this or refuse to believe it because they have the wrong mindset. Second point, the mindset. While visiting a dog website, I find this conversation between two people. A person with a bad mindset talks about his dog saying this. My dog sleeps next to me on his duvets. But the bed is too small for both of us. He leaves after 30 minutes. A person with a good mindset answers him. I don't agree to let the dogs sleep in the marital bed. Dogs are like wolves and live in packs. Only the dominant sleep high. By letting your dog sleep with you, you encourage him to adopt a domineering behavior towards you. And it can become very dangerous. The dog should always stay below you in the hierarchy. Totally wrong. To say that a dog functions like a wolf is a complete lack of knowledge of the dog. The domination of the dog over man does not exist. If this were true, it would be a long time since all dog owners would be killed by their dogs. A dog just needs a rule and not be subject to humans. With this bad mindset, we tend to want to humanize our dog because we love him a lot and we want to make him equal to us. Even if the intention is good, it is the worst mistake you can make. Simply because if you think you are honoring your dog, your dog will not see it as an honor. 
he will see it another way because our points of view are different. You will never be able to humanize your dog. The only thing you're going to do with this mindset is lose your alpha position with your dog. If your dog no longer considers you as alpha, he will take a position above you in the hierarchy. Instinctively, the dog defends its position in the hierarchy. That is why he will no longer accept your orders, that he will growl against you when you give an order. And if you insist, he will even to fight against you, in other words, to bite you. And for a dog, its behavior is quite normal, but for humans, this situation is catastrophic because we don't have the same point of view. Third point, point of view. What seems normal for a dog seems dangerous for us and what seems normal for us seems very strong for a dog. Take this example. You take your dog while you go to the supermarket. You are attaching him to a post for the first time. During your absence, he will struggle against the leash, bite it, pull on it until he understands that he will not succeed. He will use all his strength for several minutes without success. When you finish and you come to take your dog, you will release him within 5 seconds. For you, this gesture is benign, but he will perceive you as very strong and much stronger than him. Listen to this testimony from a man who doesn't own a dog, but a bison. There's wild things out here tearing up a gate or something and trying to get through it. He can't get out most of the time. I can go over there and open it with one hand because I unlock it and I open it and he thinks I'm really strong because he might have been there an hour or two trying to get through that gate. But I go over there and I just do it like it's nothing to it. And he really believes. He'll look at me and he'll go, wow. <laughs> I can grab him by the horns and he thinks I got them. You know I don't have them, but he thinks I have them. Oh, good Lord. This is where I'm dominant right here. They don't like their horns messed with. This point is very important for the rest of the video. In fact, we tend to forget the differences of point of view when we own a dog. Consequently, we misinterpret our dog's behavior. To conclude these three points, this owner lost his alpha position with his pit bull. She probably thought she had a behavior and did things that seemed normal but on the contrary, by these acts and this behavior, the dog interpreted it differently and took a position above her in the hierarchy. Until the irreparable accident has not occurred, it's not too late to take a position above your dog. Indeed, the hierarchical positions within a pack constantly change. So that this video is not too long. I would make a second video to tell you the do's and don'ts to never end up in this situation. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't hesitate to give your opinion in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss the next videos. On this channel, I share with you my passion for dogs. I will provide you with entertaining and educational content. If you like dogs, don't hesitate, join me.